welcome back to the channel guys it is me 80 super four so today is going to be my group f action of the africa cup of nations guys so in around 10 minutes from now when you guys are seeing this maybe i'll do 15 minutes just for this video um we'll be doing the stream so we're gonna go ahead and do a quick reaction i'm gonna give you guys probably around six to seven minute reaction so we're gonna start with the first good we got here is morocco versus tanzania my goodness me, man, Morocco were fantastic. I was very, very impressed with Morocco on the day. They were amazing on the day. They controlled the game very nicely, and they were just fantastic. Shout out to Onayo. Onayo was fantastic on the day. As for Tanzania, I want to start first with Tanzania. Guys, I'm going to say this right now. Tanzania, by far, was the worst nation of match day one. And I know people are going to tell me, oh, you know, you got, you got to be respectful and everything like that. They didn't do anything. They did nothing in this game. All they did in this game was just foul the Moroccan players. That's all they did. They wanted to play rugby. This is football, by the way, not rugby, okay? They had no intentions of trying to win the game. They just wanted to foul the players. I understand you're the inferior team. I understand you, you got to play defensive. I understand that, so I don't want to hear people say that. But there's a certain way you do it, right? And my thing with Tanzania is that they were so bad. They, they didn't do anything. They offered nothing. And I even look at the likes of Namibia that we saw against Tunisia. I think it was yesterday. They played a fantastic game against Tunisia and took the game to Tunisia. They actually tried to do it. And many of us said Namibia the, was the worst nation heading to the AFCON. I think Tanzania might have just taken that cake because they did nothing in this game. And so, um, like I said, Tanzania, absolutely disgraceful. I am embarrassed to have watched that performance because that was absolutely shambolic. And they even went down to 10 men, rightfully so, for for a second yellow. I think it was a second. Was it a second yellow or a straight red? I think, yeah, it was a second yellow, second yellow. And like I said, they were just following the players. For Morocco, man, this was a great, great win. Great, great win for them. You know, and the first goal was scored by, um, obviously, Saiz. Great, great free kick into the box. Saiz gets on the rebound, makes it 1-0. And then the second goal from Onahi, man. What an assist that was. Um, coming off the bench, Adili got the assist there. Onai scored a fantastic goal. At the end, Nizri finally scores his chance. He should have scored those two chances he had earlier in the game. And, uh, you know, Nizri, man, scores a beautiful goal. Really, really good pass over the top. I think who got the assist for that? That was Archef Hakimi. Hakimi got the assist there. Beautiful ball over the top for Nizri. Nizri scores. So for Morocco, man, this was a great win. Even though this was a great win, I still think there are concerns with this performance. Because Morocco scored, they had to score two late goals to seal it. And it was a bit kind of disappointing with Morocco that they only scored one goal in the first half. I kind of expected them more. And I look at this team in particular, and their, their defense is amazing. Don't get me wrong, their defense is top solid. The issue for me with Morocco is that attack. Because I just don't think Ziyech and Abde are clinical enough. They're good names on paper. They do a lot of dribbling. They do a very, they're very effective, but they're not clinical enough. For me, N Naziri is the most clinical player that uh, Morocco had. If N Naziri doesn't show up, I really worry for Morocco, especially in those knockout stage games. Because let's be real, the group stage they should have enough quality to top. They should be able to top the group of East and get you know seven to nine points. Heck, even six points may be enough. I mean, the, the, the minimum seven, I would say. You know, but I just think for Morocco men in particular, they were just great in the day. And I'm really, really interested interested to see how Morocco does on knockout stage. Because that's where they really struggle in the last couple of editions. They, they usually do well in the group stage, usually top the group with ease. It's just the knockout stage where they tend to struggle against teams that play a low block and that kind of style. So it's going to be very interesting to see how Morocco does. And like I said, guys, they're definitely one of the contenders to win the AFCON. And as for Tanzania, man, very, very disgraceful. I wasn't impressed with them whatsoever. And they were by far the worst nation. Uh, in the AFCON as a scene of match day one. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, so I think that's a good analysis of this game. And yeah, man, like I said, man, and a shout out to Onai, man. Onai was fantastic in the midfield, fantastic. Moving on to the next game we got here is DR Congo and Zambia won. DR Congo, man, um, they fumbled it. They fumbled it badly. And for Zambia, man, they lucked out. They lucked out with getting a point here. And honestly, Zambia did not deserve to get a point from this game. Kagunui scored a great goal there. I don't know what the goalkeeper is doing. I don't know why he was off of his line. He was that was terrible goalkeeping, and and then the second the, the second and then afterwards you got to give credit to DR Congo. They responded quickly, got the crucial equalizer. Makumbu puts a really good cross in for Wisa. I think one of their center backs did a really good run. Let me see. One of their center backs did a really good through ball, uh, for Wisa. Sorry, Bakumbu to make that great run for Wisa. Really good ball over the top. Um. 
And then from that point on, man, it was Dior Congo, man. Dior Congo was simply dominant. You could see in the XG here how dominant they were. 25 shots, 6 on target. And, yeah, for Dior Congo, man, they were just amazing in this game. Absolutely fantastic. They should have done better in finishing. And we got to talk about Bakumbu, man. Bakumbu, man, even though he got the assist, man, he 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 was terrible, man. When it came to finishing, he missed too many chances. And the guy was just awful. He had to be taken off. And he was rightfully taken off the 82nd minute. A bit too late, in my opinion. Wiesa, for me, was definitely the, the guy. He also missed a big chance. I think it was the 70th minute. Um, and for me, for DR Congo, man, they got to be more clinical. They got to be more clinical in front of goal. And for me, they just missed too many chances. And I believe the substitutions, for me, at least, were a bit too late. Uh, there was a huge penalty appeal, a very, very controversial penalty appeal that could have been given. A penalty wasn't given, though. And I think it was, and I don't, I, let me see if I remember, guys. I think it was the 70th, 60th minute. I think it was the 60th minute. I don't exactly remember, but I think it was the 60th minute. And one of the Zambia players um, goes down inside the box. And for me, it wasn't a penalty because it was an unnatural position for his hand. I believe it hit his shoulder there. And for me, that's not a penalty. It's not a penalty. It wasn't intentional. It was accidental. And for that reason, I can't really get... I, I, I agree with the referee. It wasn't a penalty. So a penalty wasn't given. And for DR Congo, man, they're going to be kicking themselves. Because this is a game they should have won. This was a game they should have won. We had so many opportunities. And Bakambu, man, you... you I, he, he, If I'm the DR Congo coach, you can't start in the next game. You can't start him. And he can't start. I think Elisa, the striker... I'm oh, sorry, Elia... For me, he needs to start. I think he needs to start up top, and I think he could do a much better job than Bakambu. Because I know Bakambu got the assist there, but come on. It was just a simple through ball for Wisa, and Wisa had to score from that range. So, for DR Congo, man, this is a very, very disappointing for them to have not won this game. You're going to be really regretting this, and this is massive points drop. Because I look at the, the games cup coming. I think, who did DR Congo have in the next game? Let's see, DR Congo, let's see who they have in the next game. Um, in the next game they have, let's see, they have Morocco next. That's going to be difficult. Now, luckily for them, they do have Tanzania on the final match day, which is great for them. And I believe, um, obviously, Zambia will be playing Tanzania. So, they would need Tanzania to help them out and do a favor. Because I think for DR Congo, if they had won this game, I think they would be in a great position to advance. Now, they put themselves in a position where they potentially could get third by a goal difference. So, I think goal difference might come into key in this group. Because I, I, I don't think Tanzania is going to do much. So, assuming that Morocco, Morocco cleans up and sweeps the group, you know, gets maximum points, it's going to come down to between DR Congo and Zambia for that second place battle. Um, and assuming that both uh, both um, beat, uh, what is it called? Z uh, Z uh, what is it called? Tanzania. So, I think whichever team draws points against Tanzania is in big trouble because I think that's pretty much safe to say they're going to probably get grouped. So, both teams cannot afford to draw points against Tanzania. That's going to be the decisive game. So, that's going to be very interesting. And whichever team can get a point against Morocco, that could also come crucial as well for that second place. So I want to know what you guys think in the comments below, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy this little quick pre um, recap of match day um, of the day, uh, Group F games. I think this is match day five, I want to say. I think this is, yeah, I think this is day five of the AFCON, guys. So hope you guys did enjoy that. So guys, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the live stream starting in a bit.